Oh, right. But uh, An another deal, kind of like what I learned yesterday, is they're kind of sticking right underneath these trees. I threw under another tree, and there he was. All right. Thank you, fish. Look you there, folks. In case you didn't believe I was getting them out of silver bed. There we go. Just caught another one. Just another little dink. Pretty little fish, though. Uh, that one I threw up on. There was a little log. As soon as I popped it over the log, crushed it. Started taking off with it. Like I said, just another little dink, but that's four for me in two days. So I'm starting to figure something out. That was again on that uh, purple robo worm with the chartreuse tail. He might have tore it up to the point where I can't use it no more, and I don't know if I have any more, so that's disappointing. I might have to go to Sportsman sometime, get me some more. Right now, I do have some Morning Dawn ones with uh, with the chartreuse tail, but I don't know if it'll work. So I'm going to go ahead and get a release on this one. Alright. Oh, guys. Folks at home. Folks at home. Uh, getting things I mean obviously I'm not like catching lunkers or nothing but my goodness I'm so stoked right now I've caught four fish in two days two yesterday two today I mean yeah all dinks uh, that Sun is very bright let me see if I put my arm here if that helps um, but still a uh, simple fact of catching them and I took a water temp today we were at about 73 and uh, and yesterday 74 so I mean the water temp itself is not changing much I, I'll just drive with my arm out the window that blocks the sun so the water temperature is not changing but I mean literally yesterday was October 1st first day of October boom two fish next day in October boom two more fish so I mean fall must be upon us um, the water temperatures are slowly dropping and I'm gonna be out here I'm gonna be out here I have a week coming up where I'm going to be out of town, so I probably won't get to fish all of that week. I'll get to fish some of it if, you know, uh, opportunities arise. Oh my god, I forgot my seatbelt. Uh, if opportunities arise and I can get a, go fishing where we're headed, um, I'll, definitely, I'll definitely do that. But as of right now, uh, there will be a week during October that I won't be able to go fishing. Um, tomorrow, I'm supposed to have the geek and the geezer out with me. He was going to come out, uh, they were going to come out today, but some problems arose at my father's work, so he couldn't make it. Um, so, I'll hopefully get a chance to film with them tomorrow. They got a second GoPro. Uh, from what I understand, I can borrow the one, so maybe I'll help get some better footage for you guys, so you guys aren't watching this junky stuff on my cracked screen phone. Um, uh, the same, same color today as yesterday that uh, purple robo worm with the chartreuse tail I might have to go to a sportsman see if they got any more of those I actually found that grub I actually found that grub on the floor over at lakeside this weekend when I was out with my family and I was like oh that looks good I'm gonna use that and um, I had one fish uh, a bluegill the other day or or may have been a bass the other day tear it up a little bit so I actually ended up shortening it so it's probably like a four and a half inch maybe a five four and a half to five inch um, robo worm now it's not it's not it's full length uh, but as soon as I trimmed it down that's when I started catching them the next morning so maybe that's what it is maybe just a little bit smaller profile uh, but I'm, like I said I'm gonna have to go see if I can get some more well I'm heading to work thank you guys so much for tuning in There's a daggone baby rattlesnake right here, y'all. Almost, Corey almost walked right onto him. Almost, I'm almost a dead guy. So cold. <laughs> That'll scare him. Yeah, take that, you snake. No kidding. On the, on the Nico? Yeah. No, sh no kidding. That's crazy. On the on the Nico. On the Nico, isn't that crazy? I, like I said, until that time we were here with the kids, I didn't know they even had them. That's crazy. Getting them back in the water, but 
He's like, holy cow. The little guy, but I didn't even know they That's were in here. That's awesome, dude. I love that. And on a Nico. On a Nico. Alright, guys. So, met up with the geek and the geezer this morning. And, uh, didn't twist up my mustache. Yeah, that? Didn't twist it up. No fish. It's this mustache, man. It's got to be. I'm going to find out because I'm going to twist it up tomorrow. And if I catch him tomorrow, then I know. Then I know that it's the mustache. Uh, all three of us came out. That We got here about 5, a little bit after 5, maybe 5.10. And we, uh, gosh darn it, seatbelt. I always forget when I'm driving in this parking lot because you're just crawling. But, yeah, we all were here. Got here about 5. Ate a little bit of breakfast. Had some soda. And uh, kind of talked about what we were going to do. And then we hit the water probably about 5.30. It's still pretty dark. Got some footage. Got the GoPros. Both of them going. Got both the GoPros going. Now I have one. Uh, not mine, but one to use. Uh, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I got to get it home and charge it. We have ate up both the batteries. We fished both sides of the lake. We covered a lot of water between the three of us. And just nothing happening. Uh, water temp is about 74 again. So I don't know if maybe we just had a little cold front blow in. And that was what dropped the temp, water temp down a little bit and kind of got them activated and now it's going back up so they're kind of slowing down again. I'm not really sure. Um, but it was, it was pretty good. It was nice. It was a nice uh, morning. Beautiful morning. It was cool wearing the GoPro. That's, that's pretty sweet. Oh, goodness. A little tired. Heading to work now. Pretty stoked. Loving it. Having a great time. Thank you guys for stopping in, checking out what's going on. Um, and thanks for your guys' support. Have a good day. All right, guys, so I'm fishing over here where you're not supposed to be fishing. I don't condone breaking the rules, but I got one, a little a little bluegill this morning. Uh-oh, I filmed it the wrong way. Let's start again. Filming over here, fishing a little bit. Tried the fly out, got a couple strikes, but couldn't set the hook too well. Um, I'm also, uh, Fishing with this on my micro light. My micro light's acting up too. Might have to get a new one. But I got a little little bluegill this morning. I actually saw this one come up and hit it and miss it. I stopped it, dropped it, and kind of just twitched it like a jig, and he came up and hammered it. Pretty cool. Thanks, fishy. Look at this little guy. This is a tiny little blue. Came up and hit that white crappie jig. But that's three for today. I wasn't trying to catch anything big, but I did want to kind of explore this water and uh, see what was in here and catching a few works for me what's up guys so I'm gonna go on a little rant here and I might get cut short my partner's inside the store right now getting uh, getting some snacks and some drinks I'm actually at work uh, we just stopped at the gas station so this morning I fished the boat area of the silver belt it's called Archer and maybe maybe it's karma that I shouldn't have fished there I, I don't know but someone walked off one of my rods I had a speed spool or speed stick uh, lose reel and I left it uh, propped up on a tree walked a couple spots down not very far from it and someone walked off with it and I I'm probably gonna get uh, the gringos or the geeks gonna have to probably you know censor this thing a little bit because I'll tell you what I am pissed I am so pissed if you guys are out there and you find something just leave it be I mean there should be a code between all of us all of us outdoors people you don't just steal other people's uh, and then I, I, I drove around the lake I saw a guy I saw a guy with the exact same rod talked to him for a little bit I kind of looked at the rod kind of looked like mine but he took my braid off. So it was really hard to tell if it was mine or not. I couldn't, you know, I couldn't prove that it was was mine. But it's it's bullshit, man. This it's it's absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe that people treat other people like that, just stealing their right right in front of them practically. I mean, shame on me. I left it laying around I shouldn't have. Should have just carried it with me. It's it's a fishing rod, it's not heavy. I was just casting down the bank, so I just, I didn't even think about it. I just kept going, and 
I left it probably 100 to 150 feet away from me. And someone jacked it. And I'm just so mad. I'm so mad because I don't have the money right now to buy a new one. There ain't no way I'm going to be able to buy a new rod and reel. Not anytime soon, that's for sure. It's fall here. The I'm, I work in air conditioning, so the season's slowing down. And I am, I am just pissed. I just cannot believe that someone would just walk by and grab someone else's shit right off the bank. Uh, that, it pisses me off to a point. If I'd have seen somebody with my fishing rod, I probably would have whipped their ass. Or, or if, if I knew that guy, that, that rod that that guy had was mine, I would have took it. 100% would have took it. And I'm going to start marking all my rods. I'm going to mark everything I got. I'm going to get some colored tape and tape tape every tip or the, uh, near the butt or tape the reel or something. I'm going to do something because, like I said, if I could have, if I would have known the one that that gentleman had, I would have just told him, ah, that's mine, I know it is, and I'm taking it. And if he would have said, no, you're not, then I would have took it, period. I would have whipped that ass and I would have took it because I am so mad still so, so even right now it's been almost two hours and I can't think straight because someone me so hard if you're out there and you're watching this be considerate you know I'm like I said if you find something and it's you don't see anybody around leave it leave it there come back to it see if it's there when you come back I mean or Maybe try and find the owner. Try and maybe do something proactive and try and actually help somebody else out instead of just worrying about your, you know, your priorities. This world's going to shit. The world is going to shit. Like I said, we should all have each other's backs. We should all be courteous to each other. 